people welcome to my channel physio guide by divya today we are going to see about coxa vara it is an abnormality of the proximal proximal end of the femur which is characterized by decreased neck and the sharp angle so normal angle is 125 to 132 degrees so it is due to differential growth pattern of the femur capital femur and the greater trochanteric epiphysis now we'll see the classification in whom this coxa vara is seen congenital means present at birth next developmental early childhood and progress with the growth next acquired means the fracture type mal united non united fracture slipped upper femoral epiphysis see this upper femoral is slipped next parthes disease means disorders of the hip in young children next bone softening like example osteomalacia pegets disease okay next what is the clinical feature symptoms we we'll see means small sachu means there will be short limp means limping gait is seen means one leg uh, unable to walk properly waddling gait upward shift of greater trochanter rotation decreased rotation and abduction of the hip pain stiffness flexion contractures are seen so radiography in x ray what we'll see means neck sharp angle is less than 90 degrees and length of the neck is decreased head unusually translucent and triangle fragment of bone occupying lower end of the head close to the neck next what is the treatment corrective osteotomy we have to correct the bone first of all at intertrochanteric level next lateral wedge osteotomy preferred next macwell and shans corrective osteotomy next corrects both this so this macwell and shans corrective osteotomy this corrects both coxa vara and retroversion of the femoral neck that movement next to physiotherapy after surgery this is the surgical treatment next after surgery what is the physiotherapist will do means sutures the sutures are removed after 2 weeks after surgery as soon as the pain permits decreased non weight bearing crutches walking permitted with the help of the crutches walking should be done should be supported next after that non weight bearing after that full weight bearing full first they will not keep the weight will keep on the crutches next full weight bearing means on they they stand on their own full weight bearing may be allowed after 8 to 12 weeks so this is about the brief information of the coxa vara see definition classifications clinical features radiography surgical treatment and physio treatment i hope you understood this topic thank you for watching this video